On March 4th, 2024, Abby from Riverstone Bookkeeping reached out to me to design her branding from scratch. I was so excited to work on this project because her vision and her goals for the branding aligned perfectly with what I was picturing for her. So shortly after she filled out my inquiry form on my website, we jumped on a discovery call where we talked all things branding, what it is she's looking for, her ideal launch date, and also her existing Pinterest board. Having all those materials ahead of time was so helpful for me to understand where she's at with everything, kind of her existing branding, what she isn't liking about it and what she does want differently. And getting those answers helped me so much to jump right into sending over that proposal and knowing that we would be a great fit working together. So after working on the proposal and customizing the package for her, I sent that over and on March 9th, Abby paid her deposit and signed the contract. I was so excited to work on this branding. I can't even express that enough. I just felt like her vision and the inspiration she sent me really lit me up. I was so excited to jump into the phases of my branding project. So my branding process has four phases. The first phase is the brand strategy, like the discovery and direction phase. The second phase is the logo design phase. The third phase is refining it, making those revisions, making it perfect, designing the collateral. So I like to call it my revision stage. And then the last phase is packaging it up and launching and sending that over to my client. Having those four phases just helps me and the client know what to expect in the weeks coming. So I was so excited to jump into phase one, which is the discovery and direction phase. So on April 16th, it was time to kick off her branding project. For Abby, we actually decided to do a branding in a week, which is very different from my normal branding package because just as it sounds, it's delivered within one week. So Monday through Friday, I'm working on the branding and getting that over to her. I do this with website design, but this is only my second time doing it for branding. And I was a bit nervous, but I knew that if we worked together and kind of plan and prepare ahead of time, that it would be really smooth and easy to kind of just jump in and get to work. So on April 16th, I started with the discovery and direction phase, created a mood board, created the color palette, found some design direction options for fonts, for photographs and all of that, and put it together in a presentation and sent it right over to her. Within a few hours, Abby got back to me and let me know that we maybe need to work on this stage a little more. We wanted to adjust the color palette to not make it look so retro. We really wanted to make it muted, coastal, simple. So she sent over that feedback and I got to work on the revisions. Once I sent that second round of discovery and direction over, she gave me the go ahead to move on to the logo designs. So I've mentioned this before, but my logo design phase, I include three different logo concepts. I feel that having three different options gives my client an idea of the topography options out there, how we can use the elements in the logo, how I can take brand illustrations and make it into like a submark icon. So giving them those options just allows them to pick and choose what they do and what they don't like. And also it gives me the opportunity to show them all the ideas that I have created instead of just trashing those and maybe not using them. So here's a little look at the first logos that I sent over to Abby. I actually started by creating and designing the icons on my iPad because I feel like when I design those icons and draw them out first, I'm able to really get an idea of how we can make a really fun logo inside some of like a shape or taking one of those icons and using them in the primary logo. So I really like to draw those brand illustrations first. That way I can kind of understand the brand on a deeper level and how we can have it show up with really unique assets. So after I sent those logos over on April 18th, Abby was nice enough to film a video recording of her walking through the concepts and what she does and doesn't really like and the things that we can work on and revise a bit on the next round. So I wanted to include a little video of a snippet of her feedback because getting this video walkthrough feedback was really helpful for me to know kind of what to pay attention to on the next round. So if you feel stuck with your clients and maybe they're not providing the best feedback, a really great option is to have them film or screen record and kind of talk to you about just talking it out instead of writing it out can sometimes help the client as well. Hi, Megan. I thought it would just be like way easier to explain my feelings and stuff by doing a video like screen recording kind of thing just to show you, you know, the things that I'm, I'm loving the most. 
I feel like pieces from each concept that I, I really like. I'm not a huge fan of this secondary logo here, but I really like the primary logo. I love the shape of the lettering. I don't think I want to keep is this icon. I do like the icon, I think it's cute. I just don't really wear hats like that. I literally don't have hats like that. I never worn a hat like that. So I feel like it would be weird to have that be like the primary visual for my brand if that's not something that like I actually do. But I do really like the shape of the lettering and I think it would maybe be cool to bring in like the shells or the pine trees. I think my favorite icons are these trees and like the shells at least for something like that and i also really like this i don't know why that's like one of my favorite more like landscape drawings that you've done so maybe one of those could replace this or something because i do really like that it just doesn't feel like 100 percent me having like this i really like the woodsy coat setup too this i love i love this one like I definitely want to keep that but i really like it with the drawings but i also think it would be nice to have it without them just in case like have both depending on what like i end up using them for but i really love that i like this a lot too oh the birds are also one of my favorite this these are my favorite sub marks for sure and then i really like these as well i like this a lot oh i almost wonder if maybe something different in the middle for this one i don't know i do like this drawing a lot it almost feels busy and like maybe like the name of the business isn't really like standing out but maybe that's just my initial thought i don't know i do really like this submark here i love the pine trees like the way they stand out and i think this one's really cute i really like like i said the layout and, and stuff and i like this too but maybe with a different image but yeah, I do really like that. I'm very excited about it. I feel like everything, you know, is coming together very well and like looks really, really good. So please let me know if you need anything from me. So after she sent those edits over, I quickly got to work on making those revisions and I sent it back that same day. That way we could really stay on track with the weekly timeline of the service. And after the second round of concepts, we pretty much nailed it. I feel like I really understood her feedback, her vision, where to take the brand. And the colors looked so good with the logo. So I not only was super proud of it, but I knew that she'd be excited about it as well. There was a little bit of edits, but really nothing major. And I was so excited to send it over. So here's another little snippet of Abby's feedback on this next round of logos. Hi, Megan. I really like the changes that were made. I, I do like this definitely better than the hat. I'm not sure that it's 100% still my favorite. I really like these. The choices with the shells and the trees. I really like this secondary logo change. I think that looks really good. I think I think they're both cute. I like this one. I think the colors just look really cute together there. I love all of this. Thank you for giving me this with the icons and without. I like both. I just think it's nice to have this one for anything where I'm putting it on something that's like already pretty busy. I guess if that makes sense. And I love this too, these changes. I think everything looks great. I definitely like the the secondary logo more than this one i don't really know like i i don't know how to choose honestly like everything looks great to me i think this second logo concept is probably my favorite one but i still i really like this sort of like stamp design and i i love all of this i mean these are both kind of in the first one or the second one too i really love this I'm very happy with it. I know that when you like do the whole package, you'll tell me how to use the colors. I was kind of thinking I, this color that is used for this font that says sand, I think maybe that's your brand color, but I really like it for the font over the sand color. I don't know if that's something that could also be incorporated for use for fonts or like a similar color or something rather than me just using black or using the rusty color for like everything. I don't know, let me know what your thoughts are. I don't know if I need to do that because I could use the rusty color for most of the fonts, but I do really like the way that color looks on the sand background. So one of the things I like to do for my clients is provide them some Instagram graphics and templates that they can use to announce the launch of their new brand or maybe to just use as real covers and have a consistent look on Instagram as well. So I did start working on that for Abby so that I could send that over so that when it comes to launching the brand, she knows how to show up online with it. So after creating those graphics, revising the logo to make it perfect, and getting Abby's approval on if she likes everything that I presented so that I can have the go-ahead to put it in the branding guidelines. 
that is the next step that I took. So I basically spent a, an entire day making a branding guideline presentation. Usually it doesn't take super long, but I wanted to make sure that she knows which fonts to use, where to use those specific colors. I wanted to package up all the brand icons and illustrations, make a brand pattern, all the little bits and pieces that make a brand complete. It's not just a logo. It's never just a logo. There's that strategy and direction, the colors, the fonts, the elements and the logo and so much more. So I really wanted to put that all together in a branding guideline. And here is a little bit of what that looked like. So when I send this over, I also include the link to use those social media graphics on Canva if they want some sort of template that they can use on their own. I also send every single logo file over using Google Drive and just making sure that she has everything she's gonna need to go launch her branding, use it on her website, use it in print materials, whatever it is and wherever it is she needs to use it. I, my job is to make sure she has all the tools to make that happen. So I spent this entire day packaging it all up, getting it ready for launch, and then I sent it over. So I sent over the brand guideline and Abby got back, was so excited about her branding really coming to life. And I feel like we collaborated on this so well because she did create that Pinterest board ahead of time, which was super helpful, but also just having those phases and working together really closely during that week, communicating everything and having that collaborative experience really helps me launch a successful brand for my clients. And I feel like having this process lately has been really, really seamless. I work really well under pressure. So these weekly services tend to work really well for me, but I also know that there might be clients that like to take their time on deciding on the logos, or maybe they want to take the process a little bit slower. So it's truly up to you on what service you want to provide. But I really just wanted to show you guys a little behind the scenes of this branding because it was in a week and it was really successful and I had a great time working on it. So without further ado, this is Abby with Riverstone Bookkeeping. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of me showing you a little behind the scenes and the steps of the process I take to build a brand from scratch. I believe that having branding and a visual look to your company is so important. It helps you show up, you get more excited to show up, and it just gives you that consistency and recognition that is so, so needed. So I had a great time working on this logo design and branding, and I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing a bit of the process. And those initial concepts are always fun to look back on, even if they're not used. I really just wanted to look back on those and show you guys how the whole branding came together. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate it so, so much. If you gave it a thumbs up, maybe comment down below or subscribe to my channel. That would mean the world to me. But I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one.